Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your boy, Hair Bazu. Yeah, I finally got a haircut. So maybe you got a new camera, or you're flipping it into manual mode for the first time, or you even just figured out that your iPhone is able to pick what frame rate it records in. Well, now you're probably thinking, which frame rate do I pick? Well, I thought I'd make a quick video on it for you guys just to guide you. So check it out. Okay, so the two most common frame rates are 24 frames per second and 60 frames per second. So if you're just here for the quick and dirty answer, I'm gonna give it to you right up front at the beginning of this video. So if you're filming something that you don't think you're gonna be slowing down later when you're editing, so basically something in real time, like this YouTube video right here, for example, you always wanna film in 24 frames per second. Now on the other hand, if you're recording something that you know that you're gonna be slowing down when you're editing, so some B-roll, maybe some waves, maybe some sports action, something moving really fast that you know you want to slow down, you want to make sure that you always, always shoot that in 60 frames per second. Now, the most natural follow-up question to that would be, why don't I just shoot everything in 60 frames per second and then slow it down if I feel like it or just leave it in regular playback if I don't want to slow it down? And the answer to this is kind of twofold. So the first part of that is that 99.9% .9 of editing timelines are in 24 frames per second. So if you take a 60 frames per second clip and you drop it on a 24 frames per second timeline, it's going to look super jittery, out of whack, and it's not really going to look as smooth as possible. It's not going to look realistic basically and this has everything to do with shutter speed so in cinematography we follow a rule called the 180 shutter rule and this basically means that you want your shutter speed to be double what your frame rate is so for example if we're shooting in 24 frames per second you want your shutter speed to be 150th of a second or 148th of a second depending on what kind of camera you have or if you're shooting in 60 frames per second you want your shutter speed to be 1 over 120th of a second or 1 over 125th of a second depending on what kind of camera you have and this has to do with motion blur so this kind of 180 shutter rule creates a natural motion blur so for example if I wave my hand in front of the camera right now you're gonna see that there's a natural motion blur occurring and that's because I'm shooting in 24 frames per second at 1 50th of a second so I'm following the 180 shutter rule which creates this natural kind of looking motion blur so when you take a 60 frames per second clip and you drop it in that 24 frames per second timeline it's gonna look all jittery because the shutter speed is all off it doesn't translate to that natural motion blur that should occur on a 24 frames per second timeline so as a rule of thumb for myself, I almost record everything in 24 frames per second, whether it be my camera shots or my drone shots, just so I have that ultimate cinematic look and I don't have to worry about any shutter speed translations when I'm playing around with my editing timeline. If I know I'm going to be slowing something down 100%, I record in 60 frames per second, but I would say that's a little bit rarer for me because I prefer more real-time motion as opposed to slow motion. So that actually comes down to a little bit of your own preference. For those of you guys wondering, a 60 frames per second clip on a 24 frames per second timeline can be slowed down up to 40%. So if you guys need something even slower than that, all you have to do is record in a higher frame rate than that. All you have to do is make sure that your shutter speed remains double your frame rate just to maintain that cinematic motion blur looking feel. If you're a run and gun shooter, then that jittery motion may be worth it for you if you can't decide in the moment, hey, am I gonna slow this down or am I not? So a lot of run and gun shooters do actually just record everything in 60 frames per second because they're like, hey, I don't know if I'm gonna slow this down later, I can't decide and the jittery motion isn't the biggest deal for me. I'm more about um, telling my story and getting the shots that I'm interested in and that's totally cool as well. For me, sometimes I'll even record the exact same shot in both 24 frames per second and 60 frames per second if I'm unsure if I'm gonna slow it down later in post or not. But that's all about having the luxury of time, which most of the time 
a lot of us don't. And that's it guys, I just wanted to make a super quick video explaining the differences between 24 frames and 60 frames per second, which are the two most common frame rates. So hopefully you guys understand a little bit more and that made sense. If you guys still have questions, definitely drop me down a comment below. Um, I do my best to reply to every single comment. And as always, if you guys learn something from this video, leave a like at the bottom of the page, smash that like button. It really helps out the video with the algorithm and all that stuff. And if you guys like my new haircut, definitely subscribe to the channel because this is the hairstyle I'm going to be rocking moving forward. And that's all I have for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, keep creating.